which Tesla autopilot vehicle is being recalled. Models Y, S3, and X, manufactured between October 5, 2012, and December 7, 2023, are included in the recall. Acting NHTSA Administrator Ann Carlson expressed her happiness that Tesla had consented to a recall in a statement made on Wednesday before the U.S. House of Representatives. Over 2 million Tesla models are being recalled in order to address a flaw in the system that is meant to make sure drivers are paying attention when using autopilot. According to documents released by U.S. safety authorities, on Wednesday the business will release a software update to address the issue. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration conducted a two-year investigation into a number of crashes that occurred while the autopilot partially automated driving system was in use, leading to the recall. A few were lethal. In a statement to CBS News, an agency representative stated that the inquiry revealed that autopilot's attention-getting mechanism may not always be sufficient, and that it may result in predictable abuse of the system. Almost every Tesla sold in the United States is included in the recall, which also includes models Y, S, 3, and X, built between October 5, 2012, and December 7, this year. In an effort to further encourage the driver to adhere to their continuous driving responsibility, the software upgrade has added new controls and notifications. Owners of some of the impacted cars received the software update. Owners of the remaining vehicles received it later. If automated technology is used responsibly, it has a lot of potential to increase safety. The measure taken today is an illustration of how putting safety first may improve automated systems. Auto steer and traffic aware cruise control are two of the capabilities that Autopilot offers. Auto steer is designed to be used on restricted access freeways when it's not in use, and it has a more advanced feature called auto steer on city streets. Where auto steer can be employed will reportedly be restricted by the software upgrade. When a driver tries to activate auto steer when the necessary conditions are not met, the feature notifies them visually and audibly that it is not accessible and auto steer will not activate. Beginning in October, Tesla held meetings with agency investigators to discuss tentative conclusions regarding the monitoring system. Fix. Although it disagreed with the agency's interpretation, steer, which keeps the vehicle at a predetermined speed or following distance, but doesn't create autonomous driving, is an essential part of the autopilot. Tesla questioned the NHTSA's methodology in its response to the recall, although it did promise to upgrade software to improve safety measures. Additional controls and alerts to those already existing on affected vehicles to further encourage the driver to adhere to their continuous driving responsibility whenever auto steer is engaged is what the over-the-air upgrade will do. Tesla declined to clarify to Reuters whether the recall will impact cars registered outside of the U.S. Stronger control of the driver monitoring system, which primarily determines whether a driver's hands are on the steering wheel, has been demanded by proponents of auto safety for many years. Monitoring technology is so easily tricked, according to independent tests, that drivers have been detected operating a vehicle while intoxicated or even just sitting in the rear seat. The safety agency received a defect complaint from Tesla, stating that the autopilot's controls may not be sufficient to prevent driver misuse. According to Tesla's website, drivers must always be prepared to intervene because both autopilot and the more advanced, full self-driving system are designed to assist but cannot drive autonomously. Tesla's owners are testing fully autonomous vehicles on public roads. Tesla claimed that using autopilot increases safety in a message that was published on what was once Twitter. Since 2016, the NASA has sent investigators to 35. Tesla crashes where it believes the cars were operating on an autonomous basis. Countless individuals have lost their lives. The probes are part of a broader NHTSA inquiry into several incidents in which Teslas operating on autopilot collided with parked emergency vehicles responding to other collisions. Over the past year, 
the NHTSA has stepped up its pursuit of safety issues with Tesla vehicles, issuing numerous recalls and investigations. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications.